And this is, this is, I really have to take a stand against this, you know, juveniling of the adults. Okay, we're setting a bad example for the kids. So, this, so I want to do a little segment now called, uh, you know you're being manipulated when, and I have, I have a press release from the Libertarian Party from May 13th, 2002. Now, in case you don't know who the Libertarian Party is, the Libertarian Party is a political party that the Republicans turn to when they want to learn how to be selfish. Okay? Now, it's, the truth hurts. I'm sorry. But um, here we go. And this is, a, when I write a press release, I actually want to have some of this stuff, like the, the, the tools that they use in there. But listen to what they're up to. Should a fitness club have to hire an overweight aerobics ex instructor? Question mark. No way, say libertarians who argue for repealing such laws. A San Francisco ordinance that forced a fitness center to hire a 240-pound woman as an aerobics instructor illustrates why anti-discrimination laws should be re repealed, say libertarians. Quote, when an obese woman can become a fitness instructor, it's obvious that anti-discrimination laws are getting stretched to ridiculous proportions. Ooh, okay, did you notice that? Subtle, huh? Stretched to ridiculous proportions. That's good. See, you, you, gotta, you, you need to watch out for those little phrases. They're, they're trying to get your attention and you already know what they're up about, okay? Said LP Executive Director Steve uh, Dashba, quote, once you allow politicians rather than employers to dictate who gets hired, you pave the way for a litany of loony lawns. Ooh, laws, ooh, alliteration. That's good, little red star for that one. Good for you, lads. Uh, litany of loony laws. Uh, now, a case in point is San Francisco's fat and short ordinance, which forbids employers from discriminating on the basis of height or weight. <clears throat> Last year, Jazzercise Incorporated, the world's largest dance fitness company, declined to hire 38-year-old Jennifer Portnick as an aerobics instructor, citing its requirement that instructors, quote, look fit, unquote. So she complained to the San Francisco Human Rights Commission that the policy violated the Fat and Short Ordinance, prompting Jazzercise Incorporated to drop the requirement to hire the Portly Portnick. Ooh, did you hear that? Portly Portnick, alliteration and making fun of the... Ooh, that's uh, two stars for you. That's a good one, yeah. Um... <laughs> But libertarians say it's absurd to apply such a measure to a business that earns money by providing instruction on how to lose weight and improve health, says Dashba. Okay, this guy doesn't run Jazzercise. Now, Jazzercise apparently figured out it was worth hiring this woman and go to a lawsuit. And if I was running this, you know, national chain, I would take advantage of the situation. Look who our instructors are. We have these slim fit women, and then we have women that you can relate to. No whining. She's doing it. You can do it, too. And I'd have... That's what I would do. That's what a business person would do. But this guy is doing something that, you know, politics has fallen into. Bitching. <laughs> and then they come to this interesting thing. Beside, besides, says Dashba, imagine the precedence this will set if an aerobics company can be forced to hire an overweight instructor. Okay, now what we're coming to here in the press release is what I re refer to as the threat. Ooh, be afraid. Be afraid, everybody. This is what it says. Can private schools be forced to hire illiterate teachers? Can taxi cab companies be forced to hire blind drivers? Can telemarketing companies be forced to hire deaf and mute telemarketers? Okay, in case you're wondering, this is not satire. This is a real press release. This is their idea of logical, rational arguments. But, and it's all about threats. Be scared. Ooh, be scared. Oh, my God, they're right. And so, basically, this is why anti-discrimination laws can't be reformed. They have to be repealed. Until that happens, government bureaucrats will continue to throw their weight around. So from now on, whenever you like hear, you know, somebody on TV, blah, blah, whatever, don't, be, don't just call them up and say, did you have to have that person on to threaten me with those ludicrous arguments? Don't put up with this crap anymore, folks. You're now armed, okay? And when you read the newspaper, when you read these press releases, when you see these press conferences, just bring out your little red pencil and just go, oh, I'm sorry, you went too far there. Time out into the corner right now, young man.